you don't only play games to win and you don't only play them to have fun, you're also playing it to learn a bit either about yourself or like progression. I played uh, competitive Siege for four and a half seasons. I'm currently mainly streaming and a substitute player for Plain Ducks. The last half year has been spent with uh, going to a few events with Ubisoft and, and trying to be a, a positive part of the community. I'm very surprised. Um, I didn't see myself as like a, an interesting individual like while playing video games because I'm just sitting there staring into the screen and being very focused about it. Because um, I'm, I'm very focused about what's going on in game. And I'm really trying to also have a conversation with the people watching. I think it took at least about a year for me to interact with chat while it's going on. I just stopped gaming completely, right before Siege actually. I think I had like a year where I didn't play any games, it just worked and worked and worked. I worked firefighting at nights. There were a lot of bad things happen and, and a lot of things that kind of mess with your sleeping pattern. When the pager goes off and you leave your apartment, you like it's very hard for you to realize because your adrenaline's pumping and you're like, let's go. But the, the person sitting home, the only thing they feel is, shit, is, is he coming back? Um, and I didn't want that. So that's why I stopped and I had to find something else. So Siege is actually, for me, it's like what's replacing it. It's, it's my new thing, my new way of getting adrenaline. I think it helped me more than I, I probably want to admit. It, I bungee jumped off the Victoria Falls bridge and I was shaking more when we were playing the season three finals. Then it just started escalating. Then E3, Gamescom, here. And following that progress of the game continuously getting bigger, and seeing the passion that goes in it, both from the creators, the players, the viewers, everything is, it's pretty, pretty mind boggling, like how many people are affected by a thing like this. And I don't think that's something you think about in, in like when you just sit down and play, when you come home, you don't notice or realize like how many people are actually involved. I've met so many people here. It's a, it's a different form of friendship, I guess, because you're not basing your friendship on, on anything else than at one common thing a really big passion for one game.